Greetings to all of my friends and all my family that are listening to me today. I'm so glad to be able to come and talk to you today and tell you about some good things from the Word of God. You know, in this very difficult age which we're living in, we need to trust the living God. We need to trust in Him with all of our heart. I know many of us are going through a lot of fear and a lot of doubt right now. Uh, sometimes we're wondering what's going on in America. It's for sure that we're under we're under attack from the enemy. And I, this election that's been going on and ongoing still, uh, nothing has been totally decided yet. We just have to keep our minds and self in prayer that God will give this nation direction. We know how important this last election was. And we know it was uh, very important to all believers and all, all of the people that are listening to me today. And I want to just talk to you today that, that God is still in control. Regardless of what happens in any election, who's elected, God is still in control. If you remember the word of God, Daniel and them were in Babylonian captivity. And yet in Babylon, God revealed to Daniel the book of Revelation and the future and give him wonderful blessings while he was under actually bondage in Babylon. But Daniel made the best of it because God was with him and God will be with us regardless of what the situation is. And you know the scripture in Romans 8 28 is a real good scripture. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. When we think about that scripture, we think about all things are working together for good to those that love God. I want to encourage all of you that are out there today that are dedicated Christians and you love God with all of your heart. You've been praying extremely hard during this difficult time and elections and everything. I want to encourage you to be hold on to God with God's unchanging hand. Never, never give in to uh, doubt or fear but allow God to speak to your heart and let him direct you. We've heard a lot of things. We hear a lot of voices today going on that this is going to happen and that's going to happen. Folks, I want to tell you, if we say God is going to do something, we better be sure that we know that God is actually going to do the things. Because I can remember during the Babylonian captivity, there were many prophets talking about how prosperity was going to come up on their nation but actually they ended up in Babylonian captivity and those prophets and those people that prophesied a lot of things I uh, kind of had to eat crow more or less talking to you. But folks, I'm not telling you all the prophecies that have gone on today are wrong. I'm just saying you have, we have to judge every prophecy and do not become discouraged if someone prophesies something that doesn't come to pass because there are false prophets everywhere out in the land. And let us God, let God use us and direct us. And then let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. You know, we don't understand how the peace of God can pass all understanding, but it passes all understanding. will keep your minds and your hearts in Christ Jesus. And so God will give us strength in this difficult time. If you're going through a time of sickness or you're going through a time of sorrow right now, let me encourage you to lift up your voices to God and call upon his mighty name because God is doing great things in this nation. He's doing great things all around the world. And don't forget Jesus is coming back for his church. It's a glorious church without spot or wrinkle and it's washed in the blood of the lamb. We have been dedicated to do the things of God and we are looking forward to his visitation one day that's going to come and catch us away. I'm greatly encouraged today because I know that God is in control of everything that's going on in this world. Everything is going on in the United States. And I want to say to unbelievers and those that are plotting to try to take over and put leave God out of our systems, I want to tell you, you're going to have to answer to God one day, and you're going to stand before God, and that's going to be a serious time when you have to do that. You better be sure that you're in the right spirit and the right way, because God, there's a great white throne judgment one day. All unbelievers are going to stand there, and they're going to get an account for everything that they've ever done. If you fought against God, that's going to be a sad thing. And you know, 
know, that's one thing that God said to Saul when he was met, met on the road to Damascus. Uh, it's, it was hard for him to fight against God and difficult for him to fight against God because that's a thing that you just cannot do. And you are always going to lose if you fight against God. We're on the winning team, believers. Hold on to the faith and hold on to God's unchanging hand. We're about to see miracles of God come in this nation when darkness comes and it's, it's real difficult times, don't forget that the light of God is much greater than darkness. And I know that the light of God is about to shine in bright hearts and all the believers today. I'm looking for that glorious appearing. I want to say good things to you today and let you dream that impossible dreams and dream of what God's going to do in the future and what God is going to do with you. Ask for healing upon people that are listening today. In Jesus' name, by His stripes we're healed. And I want to tell you that I love you today. It's great to talk to you. And remember, God is in control.